want to make a point here that uh, it's a bit of a ninja topic, but uh, it turns out that exploiting every last bit of parallelism isn't always the very best performing code. Sometimes it helps to do more work per thread. And this is this leads to an advanced optimization technique called granularity coarsening that we'll talk about later. That said, the first problem is almost always to find enough parallelism. So keeping that in mind, are we done? Is this 0.7 milliseconds the fastest that we can transpose this matrix on this GPU? Well, let's reason that out. So two things can limit your performance on any code. Time spent fetching and storing data from and to memory, or time spent performing compute operations on that data. Now the transpose code has almost no computation at all. It's entirely about moving data around. So let's ignore compute for the moment and focus on memory. And the question is, are we moving that data around efficiently? How can we tell? There's a handy utility called device query that's included in the CUDA SDK. Let's run it. Device query spits out an enormous amount of information, and most of which you don't really need to know right now. But buried in here are a few things that I want to point out. The GPU clock rate, is how fast the actual processors in the GPU are going. The memory clock rate shows you how fast the memory in the GPU is operating. And the memory bus width describes how many bits of memory are actually being transferred for each of these clock cycles. So from this, we can actually figure out the maximum speed of the memory, the maximum bandwidth, the maximum amount of data that we can transfer in a second. 